Hark. Birds. I don't hear any children. I don't hear the sun. Oh, we haven't changed clothes. The squeaky chair. Please oil your chair. Just a hangover. <sighs> Leslie's late. No, oh, he apparently just beamed himself on in. As if I summoned him from the bowels of sunny hell. Leslie suddenly bursts into the office. And the other. Is that a cake? What is that with men and their cakes in this game? Fresh from Frank's bakery, I tell you. Those fellas really know the cassette. Cass, whatever this is. Yeah, that's how I was saying it to you, Leslie. I'm <laughs> not chewing away with relish. Hmm. That's the exact same cake the mayor asked for last night, wasn't it? Yep, this is some kind of conspiracy. Yeah, everyone just likes cake. Uh -oh, Leslie's on to your face. You look a little under the weather, Richter. Your hair is all messy, too. I haven't even gotten my hands on it yet. Wait, don't tell me. <gasps> You're not hung over, are you? you? Richter, you naughty boy. Awesome. Pause. Can we just get to our reports? Changing the subject, I see. Absolutely shameless. He is an agent of chaos. Leslie is. Hi. Who's my agent of chaos? You are. I love you too. Daddy's trap. <laughs> Bye. My little party partner. In between shots. Okay, this would be really... <coughs> Cat, you are shaking my entire computer. There. Now you can't see my computer shaking. Talking about the time off with competition, so it can't be them. Drink with. He was Jewish. Pretty soon, he always comes out and mobs her. Oh, you don't say. Oh, tell me more. Wants to hear all about your well, new boyfriend. I feel like there's just such a possibility to literally flirt with every single guy in here. Should I tell Leslie about the flirting? Nah, I don't think we should. And yeah, we're not gonna tell him that he flirted. He seemed very he because he did seem important because it says technically, not a lie. Leslie doesn't need to know all the details because Leslie clearly has a thing for Richter. Important. Hmm. Why do you think he was talking to you? Because Richter's cute. Same reason you like Richter. <laughs> Leslie just looks so peeved. Sure didn't act like it if you did, and I'm still alive, right? Fair point. Maybe your line skills really have improved. No, they haven't. Get your feet off the disc. Don't you act all surprised. I'm good at my job. Just say it. In exchange for a cake. <laughs> Leslie, Leslie, like, I've never seen such bullshit before. Come on, director. Tell me what he actually want. I know you're just trying to get revenge for me teasing you, but being serious, boss, he wanted a cake. <laughs> Straight face you can imagine. It's from that neighborhood around Little Italy, right? Obviously that place owned by the Italian gang, so he can't get too close. But as for why he wants one, kind of a cool boss. Maybe for a kid at home who likes them? Sweet tooth? Forbidden fruit? It really does reek of a setup, but it also reeks of, I want to see how much you'll do for me just because I said so. It's 
guess he's playing with you, Richter. Yeah, I don't really care about what you learned at the party. A lot of liquor. Yeah, I'm glad someone got some work done. Lee, you do all the hard work, Leslie. Let me go have fun. What was that? Wait, hold on. Something about ritzy orgies? That's what I get for just skipping through the text. Gee, thanks, boss. He, Leslie likes you so much. Yeah, we're not going. Speakeasy is worth remembering. Oh, Leslie looks so sad. Heartlessly leaving your partner in the dust. So this is what it's come to. Uh, yeah, well, sorry, because you're just a working partner, and we're going to go get the other kind of partner, if you know what I mean, eh? Yeah, you do that. <laughs> Not even going to bring me back a sandwich? Ask your new friend. Oh. Okay. I see how it is, Leslie. Yeah, I don't think it's just playful sulkiness. Alright, alright. Don't you good boy me. Quit ruffling my hair. Alright, go do your paperwork. Yeah, 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 we do our paperwork. Then we go get some cake. Like we just fast forward, like we go and get cake. Ta da! I like how we didn't have to say a word this night. The dorm is just like, yeah, let, let him in. It's the boss's new pet. <laughs> cake in a bag. It's a cake in a box. Oh, it's emo baby again. Hello. Rough. He just doesn't look rough. I'm sorry. He has this delicate little face and this little Sasuke looking haircut. He doesn't look rough. I'm gonna pat you down, make sure you aren't healed, understand? Oh, okay. Pat me down, all the cute boys. Okay. Dare you take my gun. Rude. Mm-hmm. No, wait, wait, the back room. <laughs> the back room. Wait, where are you taking me? Whap. Okay. This is, I love, this is just so sudden. Like, there's no playing around. My semi captor. It's spooky time. Knock, knock. Who's there? Come in. The library. And not the dungeon we were looking for. Mr. Eastman, your friends here. Yes, I can see that. Mayor, Meyer, Mama, Elma. What you got planned? It's a staring contest. Well, duh. You know what you can't spell subtext without butt sex? Hello. Hi. You come to help me? Oh, okay. I brought you cake. This is like the best first date. It's romantic. We got this piano music playing. We're in the private library. And we've got cake. Ah, 
I knew I could count on you. Yeah, Mr. Broken Hand. Well, I got this gorilla hand thing going on, but like... I don't know. It reminds me like when I was first learning to draw hands. Like in high school. You would try positions and they just don't look right. But you can't figure out what what's wrong with them. They realize it's because the human hand doesn't bend that way. Yeah, go sit beside him. You know you want to. Oh, so sad, Bucky. Don't be sad. Richter's kind of pouty. I like him. I identify with Richter so much. Okay, sorry about that. Had to go and come back. It's very hot in the room I'm in. I'm sure y'all have noticed how red my face is. One, it stays red anyway because I have a condition that does that. But also... I have no tolerance for heat, and I'm currently living in Texas, where it's October and still 85 degrees. So, sorry about that. Okay, it's not that. I just wasn't quite expecting all of this. Yeah, I just thought we were just going to bring you cake, and we're going to sit at the bar and get drunk again. All of this. You mean a nice back room and a speakeasy? Yeah, we know what happens in those back rooms. Right, that's obviously what I was referring to. Anyway, Peter, your prize. I hope it didn't get too smushed when your lackey was jostling me around. I offer Mary the bag of the cake, and his eyes light up when he takes it from my hands. Wonderful, I can smell it already. <laughs> Is that not me you're smelling? <sighs> yeah, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that because I can't speak Hebrew. But we are going to click on it. Get a phrase and translate it. It's hard to eat a stranger's bread. Alrighty. He gazes longingly at the back room moment and sets it to one side. Bet you better eat that cake cut when I'm on my way to get it for you. A smile finds its way onto my lips before I even realize it. The way he likes sweets so much reminds me of Leslie. Yeah, but they're nothing alike. Mayor is bad. Leslie is also, like, a cinnamon roll, but I feel like Leslie is going to be too much of a stickler for the law, and too much like we have to enforce this just because it's a law. Just because it's a law doesn't mean it's right or wrong. I'm just saying. It just means it's illegal or legal. Lots of things have been legal that are bad. Mayor leans around the edge of the sofa, wanting softly, mm -hmm. before straightening back up with a bottle in hand. Aww. It's full of a golden liquid, but I don't recognize the label. You wanted something a little sweeter, right? You remember? Of course you remember. This is your new boo. I have an excellent memory, especially when it comes to people who I catch my interest. He takes a glass from the table beside him and starts to pour me a drink. I mean softly. See, he just seems like so romantic. I love him. Even if it's all a game and he's just playing him, like, I wouldn't care. I would be like, treat me like this anyway. This is Slavovitz, sweetened with honey. I have no clue if I pronounce that even close to right. I've never sampled it myself, but one of my men swears by it. I prefer to take my sweets in something of a different fashion, though. Mayor hands me the glass, letting his fingers brush against mine for a moment longer than necessary. I like the sexy music in the background, like, mm -hmm. Uh, thanks. You're quite the host. Oh, I should hope so. You expected anything less. Now we got both the babies on screen. <laughs> That's what he said. Good enough, I can see if we're not serving it out there. Yeah, because then everyone would want it. Hmm, a man has to make a living, unfortunately. Buying and transporting high-quality goods is expensive, not to mention risky. I much prefer to serve good liquor over the common swill, but it's not quite feasible yet. He paused for a thoughtful moment, though his eyes flicked back to my face soon after. Well, about that information I owe you, assuming you're still interested in work.
Blah, 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 backstory, backstory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course he's playing with you. It's a flirty. You sure are familiar with all the gang activity here, aren't you? I didn't know better. I must think you controlled some of it yourself. Me? Well, I'm not sure what would lead you to such an outrageous conclusion. He said Colleen and all in with his broken hand. After all, it's rather rash to assume things about people you don't know particularly well. Don't you agree, Richter? How did you? <laughs> Your name is on the label. It's just like a Starbucks. Darn you, Starbucks. A mistake I wouldn't expect from you, if you'll pardon my rudeness. Were you distracted at the time you purchased it? You pouty little princess. I'm not going to mention how I was daydreaming about him when I bought the cake. I think I'd rather just let my professional pride take the fall. Of course, I know you're a detective, too, and I can guess why you're here. But please, don't take it a blow to your acting skills. I'm just well acquainted with a number of professional liars, you see. If you already know so much about me, why are you pouring me drinks rather than having me shot and dumped in the alley? <laughs> Violence is not how I prefer to do business, Richter. It's only ever a temporary solution. Violence begets violence. Which is why you have warring Italian crime families rather than one consolidated powerful body. It's true. Turning people against each other is the biggest way to break something apart. No, in most circumstances I would much rather make friends than enemies. Friends like you. Which is why you're not being dumped in an alley. Can you not hump all the pillows? My cats have issues. Sorry, I had to turn a fan on because it was hot, and now it's like blowing cat hair in my nose. He's getting so close. You certainly aren't like any other guy I've met, law-abiding or otherwise. Why don't you tell me more about what it's like being in this, this risky business? I clumsily attempt my, to slide the conversation in another direction, daring to glance over at Meyer. No, no, please. I know one's had an argument when I see one. With the gloating air of someone who just caught their opponent cheating, Meyer shakes his head. I'll answer a few questions of yours, but only on the condition I can ask questions of my own. I swear on my honor to answer with the truth, and you'll do the same. But we can each avoid one question in exchange for a favor. Does that strike you as fair? His tone casually rises up at the end, if not so suddenly daring me to accept. I think I'd be an idiot to expect a businessman like yourself to play fair. But alright, I'll bite. That's what I like to hear. This is so sassy. As a gesture of goodwill, I'll even let you start. Really? How do you make any money with that kind of generosity? Oh, <laughs> you'd be surprised. What do I most want to know about? Ooh, um, I feel like the detective thing to do would be to ask about his gang, but I kind of want to get in his pants first. So I'm going to ask about his history to try to build some more personal report. Uh, tell me about your background, your history. What was it like for you growing up? Questions keep my record. <laughs> No, oh, a little shy baby. I feel like some of these are like the weirdest stereotypes, but... I don't know. Do people really just sit around eating corned beef um, sandwiches? I feel like just accidentally joined the mob. Like, I started doing jobs, now suddenly I'm on top. This part makes me sad. 
like I know that like when there's people you looked up to and they fall out of your life for one reason or another and especially when you were really really close to them then they don't speak to you anymore either for choices they made or choices you made like it's just sad especially when there's things that you hope you could kind of agree to disagree on and you would hope that friendship and some relationships that outlast things and they don't always Mobsters aren't real people, apparently. I guess we're not so different after all. People are people. We all go through things. Well, your turn. For question. You have one? Oh, I have many. Yeah, I'm listening. He's like undressing you with his eyes, dude. Give him a second. Alright. What's your greatest fear? My greatest fear? Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought I was gonna let me choose. Apparently not. Hurting innocent people. Oh. See, and I feel like this is gonna be the difference between Richter and... Leslie, because I feel like Leslie's gonna be more stick it to the law, and we can't give these people mercy because they're breaking the law. But Richter's gonna see the good in people, and that sometimes laws need to be changed. And I feel like that's gonna like kind of a divide between the two of them, because I feel like Richter's gonna be able to sympathize with Meyer and the others. Because he sees them for just being people trying to make a living and stuff. I don't know. I feel like that's where this is going to go. Again, I haven't played much further than like this scene. So I don't actually know how it's going to play out. I just think it's my duty. Well, the duty of everyone in law enforcement. To make sure Americans are safe and happy. It's supposed to be. That's why you exist. It's not just a job you do for money. It's a job that lets you go home feeling better about the world, even if it's just a little bit. Shoulder squeeze. Very admirable, Richter. Although I have to wander, just where Volstead fits into that. Again, coming back to laws, are they really there to protect people? Or does it all just come back to the big business? Well, it's your turn, isn't it? Why don't you ask me something lighthearted? I don't mind if you get more personal. He's like daring me to ask him personal stuff. He is flirting so hard. I bet he smells amazing, too. Mmm. So, last time I asked if he had a lover, and he said no. But it also led to a good scene after. So, I don't know if this is going to, like, friend zone him. Oh, whatever, I'll just go the same route. I liked how it went last time, so. You're, do you have a lover? A wife? You must write, being the cat's meow and all. Oh. Da-da. Why are you wearing that expression? Oh, are you so surprised? Or maybe you're relieved? I am. No, just surprise is all. I, I really, really didn't think you'd still be a bachelor. <laughs> Why is that? Because I'm the cat's meow? Can we just get on with the next question? <laughs> I love making my characters embarrassed. Yeah, he's just playing with you. I love him so much. Oh, I've got one. What memory do you have of your first kiss? Please, describe it in great detail. <coughs> yeah, I'm listening very attentively. <sighs> All right.
Oh, virgin baby. I just trade the favor. It doesn't have to answer. Oh, uh, don't faint surprise, you bastard. In that case, I suppose I'll take you up on that favor right now. You know what's gonna get good when the screen just goes to black, okay? Richter? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm looking like an idiot with his eyes closed. No, he doesn't want to kiss you. Not right now. Give him another, like, two minutes. Uh, d just a little dizzy for the drink. So, what you want from me for the favor? Oh, you probably think me a fool for saying this, but... I'd like you to share it with me. He's such a cute dick. Share the cake? Mm -hmm. I'm sure it would really be good. I feel guilty enjoying it by myself, especially considering you bought it for me. So I prefer we savor it together. Does that sound agreeable? I haven't had a thing since lunch. You're asking the right guy. Should we just cut it in half or what? Oh, no, no. You're going to feed it to me. I have the look his face like, I'm gonna what now? <laughs> you heard him. Or, if you want, then should I go get a fork, or? Uh, that won't be necessary. Come, take a bite. <laughs> this smooth operator. Yes, you did walk into a trap. Yeah, because you did want it to happen. We all want it to happen. This is why we're playing the game. Take a bite of the cake. Yeah, I don't need to hear a description of the sweetness of the tongue. Blah, 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 blah. Let the yaoi commence. Where's the yaoi paddle when you need one? Mr. Mac. Uh, I love how the art doesn't really look like them. Um, but okay. You can tell like a different artist does the paintings for all these games. Kisses, kisses. Horny, needy thing. Says the guy who selected all the options to lead this to this point. Sneaky, sneaky bastard. I like how Richter is just like trying to play it off, but really he's the one who's like, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> It would be horrible if you clapped me in shackles and brought me in for interrogation after all. You sound pretty excited about that idea, actually. Okay, we keep you kinda kinky. <laughs> Can you blame me? He likes a boy in uniform, uniform. They thirsty. For this game, being about not drinking, it's making them thirsty. And here we go at it again. I thought the screen was going to go to Arctic. It just darkened like a little bit. Yeah, what are you really doing here? I mean, I know what I'm doing here. I'm trying to get you to sleep with all the pretty boys. But what are you doing here? We don't care about what Leslie would think, okay? He's judgy. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. I feel like you would do this on first date, considering how easily I'll just jump right in there. Because this isn't even really a date. I mean, it's kind of a date. I mean, I guess it is a date. It's true. We're both thirsty. Dun dun dun. Ultimate cock block. <laughs> That's subtle. <laughs> I come in. It's Sasuke. Hi, Sasuke. I like how it's both, but we only ever see this one. Oh, that's right. We forgot about those. At least Richter's owning up to it. You know, like, he could have been like, oh, I don't know what that is. But thankfully, he's, you know, he's being honest Richter as usual. Yep, see, if you hadn't brought them, you and Meyer could have been... At this point, but you know. I like how he doesn't seem like upset. Because he knows. You know, he's smart. Yet he's still giving his little naughty detective a chance. You doubtlessly will. Yeah, I'll make sure that he'll probably go kidnap you if you have to. Hmm. See, I think it's interesting because he talked about what his fear was. And he talked about he was being afraid of blaming an innocent person. I feel like there's a lot of uh, deeper things going on here. Besides the surface level of, yeah, beautiful boys. There's definitely some deeper moral questions being asked by this game and I like that so far I'm really curious to see where it's gonna go yeah what does he mean by real duty like the duty to the people his duty to protect innocent people he's already infatuated with him after a day Okay, I feel like that's a good little place. We've kind of got into it. We've had our first kiss. So, I'm going to pause. We've been through two days of this. Um, I don't really know if it's broken up by... Oh, hello again, cat. Um, I don't really know if it's broken up and if there's going to be kind of distinct save points or if it just kind of rolls like this. Um, I don't know. There you go. See, I have a I have a menu, so I can save things here. Okay, good. Um, so, I'm going to save here for now, and we're going to pick back up. But I'm really interested, like I said, to see where this is going to go. And kind of the deeper undertones that are going to be addressed in this game. Uh, I saw that it had a lot of good reviews. I have not looked up anything about this game. I don't know how many characters are in it. I don't know if we have an ending with one, if it ruins our chances with the other one, or, just, or if it's just the three guys we've seen so far. I don't know. Um, but, I'm very excited where it is. I love, I've always had a thing for like the mobster types, especially in yaoi's and anime. So, um, I already like Meyer, and uh, he is number one bay right now. So we're going to see what happens. Uh, he is a smooth operator. So yeah, this Your Dry Delight definitely has me thirsty for him, at least. Mm -hmm. And Richter's thirsty too. So me and Richter, I, I feel this guy a lot. Um, I see myself a lot in him. So anyway, um, if you manage to sit through all my rambling and my horrible reading and my even worse little stupid voices I was making up half the time, yay, thank you. <laughs> hanging around and if you liked it come back and we will continue this later